it's Malika and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my videos once again. Um, if you do see I'm wearing the same shirt and looking the same in a previous video, that's because I am fil filming two videos at once, so please, you know, don't mind that. But today's video is going to be all about traveling with sickle cell. So this is a very important topic to me because I have you know, fell sick and I have, you know, went through a terrible pain crisis, a terrible acute chest syndrome. I felt like I was about to die. I do have a story time about that. So I'll probably link it down in the description box down below. But traveling with sickle cell is extremely important. Of this video, you're gonna see kind of, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna kind of do a sit down like I am right now. But I'm gonna mix in a vlog so you are gonna see me traveling because I am actually traveling right now today so I'm leaving in the next maybe hour half an hour but when you're a person that has sickle cell and you are traveling there are numerous things that you really need to do and just know off that a tip with traveling with sickle cell before you travel and you're supposed to be doing this even when not when you're not traveling is drink water drink water 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 hydrate that body you have to hydrate your body before you travel you have to hydrate your body before you travel so that your blood and everything can flow easily you are going to be up in the air so when i say traveling i am really referring to flying in an airplane flying with in, in an airplane because when you are high you're going through high altitudes your vessels will kind of constrict your oxygen levels will be a little lower so you want to hydrate your body so that you don't go into a pain crisis. So that's my number one tip with traveling with sickle cell. Usually when the flight attendant comes around to ask me what I want to drink, I choose water. is to get plenty of rest before you travel and that's just so that the body can be you know just well rested well prepared when you are going through the airport traveling for numerous hours in the air you want to make sure that your body is very relaxed calm well rested and that kind of goes hand in hand with make sure you are prepared before you travel Personally, me, I try to do better, but this time before I'm traveling, I am not a good example. I waited till last minute, and that's not good at all because you don't want that type of stress, and you have to let your body rest before you travel. I was up late last night packing. I was up today, just finished packing, so that's not really a good example at all, but, you know, you have to be prepared. It, try to at least be prepared at least three days before you travel so that the rest of the time before you travel you can just relax you don't have to worry about packing your stuff is already zipped up waiting at the door you know you don't have to stress or worry about anything or rush so that's my number two tip for traveling with sickle cell is to get a lot of rest so right now as you can see i'm not really done up um I'm, my head is tied i'm actually ready for bed and we're leaving, it's right now what, Tuesday the 22nd? No, is it Tuesday? You're leaving in 24 hours. So, all right, so we're basically leaving tomorrow. And you asked me, did I pack yet? Oh, I got the perfect shit. So, this right here is a big don't. I'm not perfect, so I'm not going to show you guys as if I'm this perfect sickle cell person that follows the rules. This is a don't. You should, I should be prepared way in advance. We're leaving tomorrow and I have not packed not one single thing yet. She's been pre-gaming. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is a no-go. Tomorrow, excuse my ratchet nails. I'm going to get my nails done. But, um, yeah, this is a big no-no. I should be well prepared. I should have packed at least, at least I would say three days before, four days before. If you, if you pack two weeks before, a week before, that's amazing. But the night before, that's just stressful. So yeah, plus I've been dealing with a lot of stress lately. So I feel like that kind of put me off with some of my packing. 
But right now, I'm just being lazy and I'm not packing. So, like I said, this is a don't for sickle cell. Traveling with sickle cell, do not wait last minute to pack. Number three tip with traveling with sickle cell is please follow up with your doctor. Make sure that all your labs, everything is okay before you fly. I know that some doctors do let their patients, I guess, get some fluids before they travel or they can probably get some blood transfusion, a, a blood transfusion before they travel, depending, I guess, maybe on the amount of hours that you're traveling. Some doctors will probably recommend it for some of their patients. So please follow up with your doctors, make sure that you are safe and you're ready to travel and your body is up to par to go through, you know, that um, altitude and being on the plane. So that's my number three tip with traveling with sickle cell and that's to please follow up with your doctor. So my number four tip with traveling with sickle cell is to always pack your medication. Please do not forget to pack any of your medication, whether it's pain medication, your hydroxyurea, vitamins, anything like that, please pack it with you. And when you do pack it with you, it's best to keep those things with you. So in your handbag and whatnot. I do have a little pouch right here. This will be going inside of my handbag and um so it will be on a plane with me if god forbid i was to feel some type of pain i have some pain medication in here i have um some muscle relaxers i have some vitamins i have different vitamins so this will be with me in my bag while i'm traveling do not check in your medications because in case you need it while you're in the air you have it with you so my number fifth tip is to really carefully plan out your vacation or your travel plans personally me because of past lessons that i learned while traveling sometimes we travel we get off the plane and we start like kind of going about our day and going out going sightseeing visiting this person going shopping i feel like when you travel and you're up in the air for so long you need to let your body rest and relax for that day so being that i'm traveling today I'm not doing anything today. I'm basically using this travel day as my resting day. And then tomorrow is when I will do any activities that I want to do, go about, see things, you know, just do anything. The most I'll probably do today, tonight when I get there is maybe, maybe go out to dinner, but that's about it. I'm not planning on going sightseeing, going shopping, doing a lot of walking because you want to let your body really rest and relax after you get off that plane. Don't try and go partying right after you get off the plane if you're traveling. Let your body rest and relax. So that's my that's another tip that I have for traveling with sickle cell. That's most of the um the tips for traveling with sickle cell. Another tip that I would say just to kind of boost up your hydration, try to drink something with electrolytes in it like Gatorade, Pedialyte vitamin water anything that has electrolytes because it will give you that extra hydration and that extra boost that your body needs and um yeah one last thing sorry um because when you go on the airplane and we do have sickle cell our immune system is a bit lower the airplane does carry a lot of germs there's a lot of people that you're with for for a certain amount of time make sure that you're taking your vitamins you should be taking your vitamins every day already, but make sure that you are taking your vitamins before you travel so that your body has a bit of a boost and a, and a, um, has a bit of a boost so that it can fight off any bacteria or any germs in the atmosphere. But that's about it with traveling with sickle cell. I hope that I covered everything. Again, this is going to be kind of like a formal video plus a vlog mixed together. So, I'll see you at the airport. Hey guys, so right now we're at the airport. I got my water for hydration. So we're gonna make sure that I'm fully hydrated. Susie's right here. So see you guys a little bit, bye. On the plane. Susie. Hey guys, so right now we are on the plane. But we have a delay. We're like number 30 or 40 in line. Crying <laughs> baby. So we might be stuck on the plane for about an hour before we take off. So we'll check in with you later. Bye.
Hey everyone, so we in Florida, we've been driving it's dark in here. for a while. Um, Malik is actually driving, giving me a break for a chance. Probably can't see her. Turn the light for a little bit. She's one of those drivers with both hands on the wheel. Safety is first. But this is the road out here in Ocala. Okay, so we finally made it to Ocala safely. Big head finally got something to eat. She's tired. She did her highway driving very well. Tomorrow we'll pick up with this. Like, subscribe, peace and love. Hey everyone. So right now it's probably after 11, 11 p.m. After doing all that traveling on the plane, then getting a car and driving about an hour and a half to where my mother lives. And I am exhausted. I'm so tired. I'm beat. So this is why I said that I usually travel, use my travel day as my rest day. So I don't plan on doing anything, of course, right now at this time of night. So I'm about to go to bed, get myself together, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.